All right, so I don't see any more new joins here. So um, let's make this the official welcome. Thank you for joining us for our introduction to Canto's Mount Lion today. Uh, we have Eric Smith with us uh, presenting very early in the morning from uh, scenic Vancouver, Canada. Um, we're, we're very excited about this line. You know, there's some very interesting product here. Uh, everything appears to be really well done, really well thought out. So we hope that, you know, you'll find some interesting products and see some value here. So with that, Eric, it is all yours. Thank you very much, Dan, and thank you to Davis uh, for your support. And for everybody that's joining, whether you're joining live here right now as we're presenting or if you're coming in and watching the recording, you are investing your time. Your time is valuable. I respect that very much. So I hope to make this valuable for you as well. And I uh, just want to say I really appreciate you uh, giving us your attention here. So Canto is a new brand for Davis, and we're excited to be part of the Davis Group. We're a Canadian company, and we hang our hat on those bullet points there that you see. So superior engineering, super important, especially when you're hanging large TVs and you want your customer to be very happy with the way it operates. From the industrial design as well, you'll see common threads of industrial design through the product lineup that we're presenting. There's the features and specifications, of course, to, so that your customer is happy with uh, the way it operates and the full range of motion and uh, feature set that gives them the viewing uh, experience that they're looking for, and the reviews and support. So we have teams working on all of those things, and let's get right into it. And my clicker stopped working, so we'll do this a different way here. There we go. So as Dan mentioned, we're on the West Coast, so it's 7 a.m. my time. That would explain why I'm not sharing my video feed for you. You don't want to see my bed hair. But we're, we're probably in the one spot on the West Coast right now that's not burning, so we're grateful for that. We're far away from you. We do have a location in Portland, so we have stateside products sitting there in Portland. Uh, ready to fulfill Davis uh, whenever uh, the need is there. Here's a look for at our office in beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia. Here we have about 35 people. We outgrew that building a couple of years ago, so there's a building behind it about the same size that we that we acquired. And we're populated by engineers, product designers, technical support people, Marketing, sales down that uh, down that list there, and operations and finance. So that's our our headquarters there. Just to give you a a look at where we are situated. Uh, peak in the building, uh, top left there is David Reed. He's the founder and CEO of the company. He's also our chief product officer. That's why he's sitting there proudly in front of a lot of the products that he's brought to market and has had a personal involvement in. Below him there is Rob Maudsley. He's our chief engineer. And that's a picture actually of several years ago when we were designing one of the products that we're really going to focus on for this presentation. That was an earlier iteration of a very exciting product that we're doing great with with the other uh, powerhouse members in your, in your group. We've got our own marketing studio. Uh, we're very proud of our product, so we spend a lot of time presenting them and offering the collateral and the packaging that helps the products present well in the marketplace. You've got Stu there, also long-term veteran with the company, uh, mechanical designer working on some, some products, and there's our operations, a little snapshot down in the bottom corner. Just to give you a flavor of who Canto is, we're going to be talking mainly about mounts here, just raising your awareness that we are also a leader in the a bookshelf powered audio space. So that's a picture of our full featured U6 product there. We have items uh, above that and items below that, and they're all multi connection point, a beautiful sound written up in CNET and Sound and Vision and dozens of other uh, audiophile type uh, uh, blogs and e zines and so forth. So let's get into the mounts. That's what we came here to talk about. We're going to zoom in on the TV mounts, but we've got products in a number of other spaces as well. So there's the aluminum and uh, glass accessory shelves, mobile carts, which is a growing part of the business in school.
schools and restaurants and just about every B2B vertical you can imagine. We have monitor arms, tablet stands, and speaker stands as well. But we're going to spend most of the time looking at the full motion TV mounts. So there's a broad range here from full motion dual stud to uh, tilt, fixed, um, and ceiling mounts, recessed, so a lot of different solutions for you. This is the PMX 700. We're going to zoom right in on this one. This is the Pro Series version. We're going to look at the PT series on the tilt mount, which is a full featured tilt mount. We've got ceiling mounts there, and we're dipping our toe into the light uh, commercial area with the menu board mounts as well. We've got solutions if you need to have a recessed product. The one on the right there will give you 26 inches of extension, but fold right into the wall to give it a very flush look. If you've got a customer that doesn't want to have holes drilled in their wall, but still want to have some viewing angle options, this is a tabletop stand. And some light duty projector mounts as well. There's a look at the accessory uh, stands. And this is the growing category of carts and stands I referred to earlier, mobile and fixed for a variety of solutions. Our speaker stands, the, the pictures don't show the story very well here. They're very heavy duty. Uh, they come with feet for different types of surfaces for the floor standing stands. They come in different colors, black and white. And you can really set up a sound stage. They have uh, features built into them that allow you to angle the, the, uh, the speakers where you want. For tricky solutions, uh, uh, tricky setups where you need to install in a corner on a post. We have some niche products there for you. And in the outdoor category, which is blossoming for us, we have some of our regular products that have been galvanized and uh, have had the hardware replaced with stainless steel hardware. And then we have that really unique unit there that's got the box around it, the RV250G. It comes with a second wall plate and a quick release. So you can actually have your TV and move it very easily from one location to another location, either outdoors or indoors. And there's a couple of locks in there as well. So you can lock the arms in place so that when a breeze comes, it doesn't uh, wobble around in the breeze. Not everybody wants a high contrast color for their TV mount. Some people want a low contrast, something that'll blend in to their uh, interior environment a little bit better. So we come out with white as well. You won't see too many white products on the market, but we have them in our full motion mounts as well as our speaker stands. And now you don't get to watch this whole presentation and not see me, so here I am holding up our, big, our biggest and baddest uh, wall mount. This is the PMX 700. So this will hold up to a 100 inch TV 31 inches from the wall with full motion. And it's shipped in that box there, but when you, uh, that's the shipping box. So you can toss that into your vehicle and take it out to your customer's location. But then when you pull it out of the box, it's in a nice, pristine, uh, full color box with, with uh, beautiful graphics that really convey the quality of the product to your customer. When you open the box, you might expect to see a whole bunch of styrofoam and plastic. And, and a bunch of parts. As much as we can, we do away with that. Uh, with intelligent design of cardboard, we can present a very clean uh, image. You can see all of the parts right through to the bottom of the box without a lot of plastic or styrofoam that usually winds up in a landfill or even in, in the ocean. But I know what you're thinking now. You're looking for that plastic bag that uh, we must have in there of all of the nuts and the bolts. And we have done away with that as well. So we've got you a bolt tray here. Very easy to identify which bolt you need, all of the hardware that you could possibly need for your install, including spacers, uh, wall anchors, lag bolts, 
and even a couple of Allen uh, keys in there that you'll use in the installation of the product. Our wall template is uh, stiff cardboard, so it doesn't flop around. And the bottom feature there that I'm holding with my hand is a dust catcher, so that when you drill the holes in the wall, if that catches the dust and keeps it off your customer's floor. These are features really driven by our CEO, who's, who's a bit of a fanatic with, with product and product design. So this is the bracket that goes onto the TV itself. Uh, you'll see that the, our, the older style, and we still have products with this style with the big horizontal plate, or sometimes it's the big uh, Swiss cheese plate with a bunch of holes in it. We've moved for our higher end products to this H-frame design. This is quite an elegant design, very easy to install, it gives you some lateral repositioning and lots of access for the ports, wherever the TV manufacturer decides to put their inputs, you're gonna be able to access them with this frame. And there's the beast itself, I'm holding it up for you to see the size of it there. This is the biggest one, it'll hold a 100 inch TV, 31 inches from the wall. And you might expect it to have a big profile to have that much capability, but it does, and it's very sleek. So it looks good with the modern TVs that are so sleek and gorgeous these days with only a 2.6 inch profile on such a large mount. Extend it out, that's how it looks. Uh, it's, a, it's a heavy beast and you would expect that you might need two or possibly three people to install that product, but uh, we'll show you uh, a different way of doing this. So this one here, this is the Pro Series again, it's premium through and through, so the it does come with a lag bolt cover, but it's not plastic, it's a satin aluminum finish, so a very premium look. It's held on by magnets, a little screw I'm taking out there is just a safety screw, so in case somebody bumps into it, it doesn't fall down. But that product just snaps into place uh, with some nice heavy-duty magnets. And when you pop that out of there, it reveals that the arms for the mount are easily removable. So there's four forward-facing Allen bolts, and in about a minute, you've got all of those Allen bolts off and you can just lift that arm assembly right out of there. And then even a guy like me can hold that easily up against the wall and lag that onto the wall wherever, you, wherever you're mounting the TV. Now these wall plates generally, I'll, I'll ask you to look at the sides of those, those uh, uh, vertical pieces on the side. Typically, the mounts, the wall plates have those to give it rigidity, but we've done away with them by adding some heavy duty welded flat steel right in the middle of, of the product. And that gives it a less obtrusive look, a more minimalist look in your customer's home when you don't have those pieces there. So we've done away with those in this product. The other thing I'll point out here is that the holes, you can see the horizontal holes across the top and the bottom rails. So that'll allow you to reposition that arm if, if you don't have it exactly center where your customer wants to see the center of the TV. You can mount the arm uh, assembly on that wall plate anywhere along those horizontal holes there. So really nice feature giving you tons of lateral repositioning to give, get the viewing angle exactly right for your customer. This toolless tilt mechanism is available only on our Pro Series. The others are uh, hardware that are operated with tools. This, we, it took us a year to develop this, uh, surprisingly enough. It was pretty tricky. You had to get the alloys of the steel just right. You had to get the right kind of uh, washer friction uh, to make it operate, the angles of the, of the lever itself and how that operates. So it was, it was actually a more complicated process than we thought it would be to come out with it, and it delayed the release of this product, but now it's super slick, and it's very, very user-friendly, and getting your friction just right is a piece of cake with, uh, with this for yourself or your customer. So there it is in overview. The price point out at retail is uh, 329 and that allows you to make your margin. 
on that product. Our website is pretty accessible, or very accessible, and very easy to find the information you need. This is a breakdown of the Pro Series, the different features and specs that are available in the three different sizes. We have installation videos that we shoot in-house for all of our products. Now we'll bring you to the tilt mount. This is a mount that will hold a 32-inch to a 90-inch TV, again, 150-pound weight capacity. This one's a much smaller box and a lot easier to hold for you. When we open it up, you see the same uh, uh, tool kit there and bolt pack. The product uh, very small and compact, but feature rich. So this product here has post installation leveling. You'll see on the left hand side there, there are two different ways of securing the TV, which are nice in commercial applications. You can secure it with a tamper resistant screw or with actually a small padlock and that'll prevent anybody from just simply snatching and grabbing the TV. The quick release uh, dangles on the bottom there, those have magnets in them, so if you're mounting a smaller TV, like a 32 inch on that product, in case those, those little dangles are visible underneath the TV, they have magnets in them and you can just pop them up against the bracket itself and tuck them away for a nice clean install. All of that with a 1.4 inch profile, again, making it a very slick presentation for the modern TVs that you're selling. And that's how it looks when you unbox it. Our website is designed so that you've got very quick access to all of the features and specifications, the key ones right at a glance, an installation video, and you can download product sheets uh, as well. And I see we have a question here which is good timing because uh, I think we're just about at the question and answer period here. So viewer four says, do all of your full motion mounts push back to center, allowing TV to be centered? They, the answer is almost all of them do. We do have a product. Ironically, it's one of our top selling unit, products in unit sales, that's the M300 and it doesn't push back right to center, it's actually off center, that's a single stud application. For the dual stud full motion mounts, they are all centered by default. Uh, we do have one dual stud full motion product that I actually have in my office, which allows you to reposition the arms uh, uh, as well. So the way we showed you with the PMX series that you could reposition where the arm is attached the FMC4 does that as well, and that's a single arm dual stud product. But by default, they all push to center. I hope that answers your question. If not, you can maybe unmute yourself or ask again. Now, people can't unmute themselves, but he did ask another question here that says, do you have any single stud mounts that do push back to center? Oh, yes, we do. So that would be the uh, PS300. Uh, we have, there's a PS350, I think that's probably in your warehouse, Dan, if I'm not mistaken, and the PS350 has the same industrial design as the product that we looked at, the same H frame, and it pushes back to center. Okay. That would be the, yeah, that would be the single stud mount that you would probably choose. That would... That goes up to about a 70 inch TV and gives you about 22 inches of extension, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And as we mentioned, we do have uh, everyone on mute here, but um, if there are any other questions, uh, now would be the time if you'd like to enter them into the chat. I have to tell you, Eric, I like the fact that you, you do a uh, you know, nice, concise, brief presentation here. Um, oh, okay, so do we have a mount like the Sanus VDLT-16? Um, what that is, Eric, it's a tilt mount that the ah. front plate pulls away from the wall. It extends out uh, 5.7 inches so that you can get your hand behind the TV to access the HDMIs, or 
it allows for a, a greater degree of tilt. Like if you have a bigger screen above a fireplace, then you need more tilt. So um, do we have anything that uh, would function like that? Uh, the, the short answer is not today. I, I, I'm familiar with that product. I've seen it actually at Costco, I believe. It looks really cool. Uh, I like the feature of that. So it, uh, the, the short answer is not today. I, I can't tell you when we, would, when we would have something like that. You, when you come out with a product like that, you have to be careful that you're not infringing on patents. But uh, I, I, I do like that product that they make. But uh, unfortunately, no, I don't have a solution for you. Yeah, yeah it, it, uh, it does well, I will tell you that. So, Pardon um, me? It, it does do well. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm, I'm not surprised. It, 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 it makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. uh, give you yeah. give you that access to the back back of the TV and for the larger TVs exactly like you like you said. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. We're just not there yet, but uh, we we can yeah. see the need for a product that does something like that. Okay. Anything else, anyone? Anyone else would like to enter a question into chat? All right, questions going once, going twice. Oh, well, we've got a comment um, from viewer four. Uh, thank you yeah. for the comment. Uh, yeah, we do appreciate we that. Do, uh, just on, on the pricing. That's my uh, fault. That we're so. Yeah. So on the on the pricing question that they that they are reasonable and others are overpriced. Yeah, thank thank you for pointing that out. We uh, we have some background reasons for that, and we we saw that with the way that the online marketplace is doing with price and some of the no name products, there was a huge gap between premium products like uh, like a Sanus or a Peerless, and then a bunch of online options that were really down and dirty in price. The problem with matching the, the really low prices or having products that do that is that there's no margin in it for you, so you don't get properly rewarded. The problem with the really premium products uh, that are no more premium than candles, quite frankly, but have a more premium price, is it's a big jump for people to take in today's online world. So our strategy has been to come out with a price that allows for the installer to make a profit, uh, for Canto to make a little bit of profit, for but for when your customer gets it, they're they're not shocked. There's not there isn't that sticker shock. You're getting a premium product for more money than the down and dirty, no name cheap stuff, but not the really high high prices of the other premium products that are out there. Uh, another great question here. Oh, no, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Another great question from from V4. Will your mount stay off the internet, or at least be price protected? So we are on the internet. Uh, we have spent uh, incredible resources to make sure it's a very clean environment. Before we were welcomed into the powerhouse group, we had to overcome that hurdle with the leaders of powerhouse. Uh, who are Davis are, are part of? We uh, we we are, select our partners very carefully. We don't sell to people that play prices on games. If they if they do play games on pricing, we remove that partner and we don't sell them anymore. So we we have a very clean look on online. So when you see a 329, and your customer sees a 329 on that full motion. If you go online, that's what you're going to see. You're going to say 329, whether it's at uh, B and H Photo or a Crutchfield or a Best Buy or a Micro Center. Those are the kinds of of uh, partners that we have, and we have a unilateral map policy that we enforce. Our partners know it. We've turned off lots of partners that would play games. Because we know that if your customer sees a price out there at a lower price, uh, then you know that doesn't do you any good. It doesn't do our partners any good. So we we invest a lot in that. We have web crawlers that gives us 
give all of the account managers get a daily notice. So if, if one of their partners is off off uh, uh, off base with pricing, we get it corrected immediately. They get a couple of, of warnings, and then they're done as a Canto uh, partner if they uh, if they play around. And in general, you know, here at Davis, we don't pursue internet accounts. In fact, you know, we work pretty hard to try and avoid that channel because, you know, if you've done business with us, you're aware we have some product categories that uh, we really need to keep offline. Um, yep. So, you know, that that's never been something we've really pursued. Uh, yeah, and and understandably, understandably so. So we're we're this kind of anomaly of a brand in in a sense that we we grew up we're a digital native brand, so we understand the internet very well. We know how to how to convert there, but but one of the ways to convert a sale there is by having a supremely well engineered product at 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 a price that is convertible. And, and then we've taken that formula to traditional distribution channels. So you'll notice that we don't sell online. Uh, we are not going after your customer. Uh, we don't have our own e-commerce. We support partners who play by the rules and allow margin for dealers, distributors, uh, and, and cancel. So we're a bit of an anomaly that way. Dot-com scares folks. Uh, and it was a it was a hurdle to convince uh, to convince um, Dennis at Powerhouse. But one thing we did was we went and we went together and we took screenshots of all of our products on Amazon, and every single one of them was either at map or above map. And that actually I think lends credibility to our partners when with their customers, because if they buy the product and pay three twenty nine. And they see, oh, even even at Amazon, it's three twenty nine or above. Then we make you look really good. Yeah. So, alrighty then. Any last round of questions here? Well, with that, Eric, I will thank you very much for being up early and giving us a very nice presentation. Um, you know. I really encourage everybody who's online today to try a couple of pieces of this brand. Once you get it in your hands, um, you're going to see that the cosmetics and build quality really are a cut above a lot of other things that you've worked with, particularly in these, uh, you know, affordable price ranges. Um, I think you'll be very pleased with what you see when you get your hands on this line. So. Thank you again, Eric. Um, any final comments before we go? Uh, no, just really thank you very much. Uh, your time is truly valuable, and uh, we do appreciate you spending time to learn about our brand. And if uh, our customer support line is open for technical questions, our website is there for any videos or downloadables that, that you need, and we're here to support. So thank you. Thanks again. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Hope you have a great day and a great weekend, and uh, thanks for your time. Bye-bye.